unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider throw into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider throw into the sea. The Lord my God, my strength, my song, has now become my victory. The Lord my God, my strength, my song, has now become my victory. The Lord is God and I will praise Him, my Father is God and I will exalt Him, the Lord is God and in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, during this Mass, let us pray for the good health of Mr. Sunil and Mrs. Amali for their for the gift of child and for their intention. And let's pray for the good health of Mrs. Mary. And let's pray for the family welfare and personal intention and also for the personal conversion to the divine mercy of a donor. And let's pray for the peace in the world. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to my brothers, brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 1, verses from 1 and 2 and 12 to 14. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by command of God our Saviour and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in the faith, grace and mercy and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank Him who has given me the strength for this, Christ Jesus our Lord, because He judged me faithful by appointing me to His service. Though I firmly blasphemed and persecuted and insulted him. But I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief. And in grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Response your Psalm. Let your response. O Lord, it is you who are my portion. O Lord, it is you who are my portion. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my praise. O Lord, it is you who are my portion. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my hearts. I keep the Lord ever in my sight, 
seals he is at my right hand i shall stand firm o lord it is you who are my portion you will show me the path of life the fullness of joy in your presence at your right hand happiness forever o lord it is you who are my portion alleluia alleluia i am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by me alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord chapter 6 verses 39 to 42 jesus told his disciples a parable can a blind man lead a blind man will they not both fall into a pit a disciple is not above his teacher but everyone when he is fully taught will be like his teacher why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye but do not notice the log that is in your own eye or how can you say to your brother brother let me take out the speck that is in your eye when you yourself do not see the log that is in your own eye you hypocrite first to take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ. christ your brothers and sisters in jesus christ and today's liturgy of the word teaches us a very important lesson to each one of us that is change yourself first the world will change by itself change should take place within then we can expect change in others or in the world often when we make mistake we compromise when others make mistake we command or we condemn that is the the nature of human once a mother i brought her son to magatma gandhi ji and she was uh, told uh, gandhi ji um mr gandhi ji please advise my son that he is always uh, taking so much sweet so gandhi ji replied okay i'll advise him please bring him after a week so the mother took him back so after a week the same mother brought her son to gandhi ji and told gandhi ji last week we came and i asked you to advise my son to not to take so much sweet and you told me to uh, bring him after a week so today we have come then gandhi ji looked at him and said my dear son here after don't take sweet the mother was surprised and astonished because she was expecting that he would see so many advices so many things to be done but he just said a single word or single sentence that is to not take sweet then she asked what is this 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 you would have told when we came first why are you telling now then he said yeah of course true that i would have said this before but when you came when you asked for advice i was taking sweet so much during those days so past one week i stopped taking sweet so now now i have i have experienced or i have a right to tell him not to take sweet so this may be a simple a very famous story that you might have heard many times but the lesson is very simple that is when you want someone to do something first we must do that that is if you want someone to be truthful we must be truthful if you want someone be honest we should we should be honest that's why jesus says very clearly do to others what you want them do to do the golden rule whatever you want somebody to do to you you first to do do to them so this is a very impractical lesson that when we want to change something or when we want someone to be good first always let us change ourselves and let everything start within so that we can expect change in others so that that will be a very finest lesson that we learn from the gospel of today so let us ask the grace that god 
give me the grace to change myself lord give me the grace to accept myself so that i may change others and i may accept others as they are for this grace let us continually pray during this eucharistic celebration amen on the pattern with the host i offer up my lowly heart all my life my days my thought there shall be as mine the word in the chalice let me be a drop of water mingle there lost to jesus in the love thy great sacrifice i share all today and every day oh jesus let me live in thee so Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let me be a drop of water, water mingled there, lost to Jesus in the love, thy great sacrifice I share. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord amen. amen the lord be with you and, and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is, it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it and if and so it is right that all our creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord god, god of host heaven and the earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down the spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins give this in memory of me
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nidinathan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I love you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites his chosen people come and dine. With the manna he doth fed, he supplies our every need. All is sweet to serve with Jesus all the time. Come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and die. The 
disciples came to land, thus obeying Christ's command, for the master called them into commandment. There they found the heart's desire, bread and fish upon the fire, thus he satisfied the hungry all the time. Come and dine, the master called it, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and dine. Master dear, here at your feet, I will tell you my great need. Oh, I wish to be with you and I love you, Lord. Fill my heart and fill my soul with your blessing, dearest Lord, as your children finally gather under here. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament. May so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. O oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on His name. Make known his needs among the people. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his needs among the people. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful, wonderful words. to the Lord, call on His name, make known His needs among the people, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on His name, make known His needs among the people.